From the previous two videos, we learned how to size our solar array, and we learned how to select the type of charge controller we need. The next step is to determine how to wire your solar panels. There are three configuration types, series, parallel, and combination series parallel. A solar array connected in series means that the positive cable end of the solar panel is directly connected to the negative cable end of another solar panel, and so on. Solar panels connected in series result in the overall voltage of the solar array adding up, while the overall current of the solar array stays the same. For example, take a 160 watt solar panel rated at a voltage maximum power of 19.2 volts and a current maximum power of 8.34 amps. Four 160 watt solar panels in series means that the voltage of the solar array is 19.2 volts multiplied by four, which equals 76.8 volts, but the current stays the same at 8.34 amps. A solar array connected in parallel means that all of the solar panels have the positive cable ends connected together and all of the negative cable ends connected together. Typically, you would need branch connectors or a combiner box to achieve this. Solar panels connected in parallel result in the overall voltage of the solar array staying the same while the overall current of the solar array adds up. For example, four 160 watt solar panels wired in parallel means that the voltage of the solar array stays the same at 19.2 volts, but the overall current is 8.34 amps multiplied by four, which equals 33.36 amps. The final configuration is a series parallel configuration, which is a combination of series and parallel. A set of solar panels wired in series is called a string. A second identical set of solar panels wired in series is called a second string, and so on. For example, consider two 160-watt solar panels wired in series, wired in parallel with another two 160-watt solar panels in series. In other words, this solar array has two strings of solar panels. This means that the voltage of the solar array doubles. 19.2 volts multiplied by two equals 38.4 volts. And the overall current doubles. 8.34 amps multiplied by two equals 16.68 amps. In each of the three different types of configurations, the wattage of your solar array is still the same at 640 watts, but the voltages and currents differ in each configuration. How do I know which is the best configuration for my system? Consider these general rules of thumb. Make sure you use the same type and size of solar panels in your solar array for optimal results. If a PWM charge controller is used, wire your solar panels in parallel because PWM charge controllers are at least 30% less efficient if they are connected to solar panels wired in series. If an MPPT charge controller is used, wire your solar panels in series as much as possible to take advantage of higher voltages and lower system losses. In large solar arrays, such as 1,000 watts or more, it is common to see a combination of solar panels wired in series and parallel in order to maximize the output of the MPPT charge controller. Shading on your solar panels can have a significant impact on the overall output of your solar array. Solar panels that are wired in series will see a reduction in output if one panel is shaded. When solar panels are wired in parallel, the shading of one solar panel has no effect on the output of the other solar panels. If you're still unsure how to configure your solar array, check with a qualified solar installer for professional advice on the best configuration for your solar panels. For our 640 watt solar array, the preferred configuration is to wire all four 160 watt solar panels in series. The next step is to determine the size and rating of our charge controller.